What is up, sisters? How are you guys doing? Popping on. I swear I went to go do one little thing and it was 111 already. I was trying to be on time. But I wasn't. So how are you guys doing? I'm so freaking excited, okay? Because I really, really, really miss you guys when I'm not on here, but I am creating things to coach you a little more on this Tuesday that gives insane value. So thank you for being patient and waiting for me. Um, thank you for letting me create a schedule that will work for me that actually gives more to you. So that's super exciting. Hi, honey, how are you? Oh, I got some good stuff today. I'm so excited. I miss you guys. Okay, so here's the deal, sisters. And by the way, if you guys are new, I have this hair. Um, welcome to the group. I hope that you have some breakthroughs. I hope you learn all the things. Um, and when you need to cling on, cling on more. Everybody needs a coach. A coach needs a coach. So if you are just sick, hi Shelly, hi Jackie. If you are just sick and tired of being in this cycle for so long of doubt, screwing up, not believing in yourself, messing up, um, doing really good and then yo-yoing and then going back. It's like a vicious cycle to where you always feel that food consumes your brain all the time. A diet consumes your brain all the time. Your weight, how you look in clothes, consumes your brain all the time. That's when you know you need to reach out to learn more. You need a breakthrough and that is what I'm all about. That's why you guys see the clients that actually show up having the freaking breakthroughs like Honey right there, my girl. <laughs> honey has had more of a mental breakthrough than her results for her weight, which are significant, which I think I'm posting an updated um, before and after of Honey. So I just get stronger and stronger and really tapping in to what's really going on, what has really happened, why we got here and where we need to be to get to where we wanna go to change, to change the thing that has been going on way too long, way too long consuming your brain. This is not how we are supposed to live our lives, right? Yeah, there's a bunch of crap that came in. There's a lot of stuff on the shelf that's confusing and all you have to do is educate yourself, right? I coach that, I teach that. But the, the program in itself is, is to remove limited beliefs, to step in the energy to create results, to know you can be anywhere you wanna be when it comes to your weight and your results. And I say that with so much confidence if you lean into the change. I am really good at giving you everything you need for the change, but if I can break through to what's stopping you up here, you are set. You are set. And when you keep seeing my clients before and afters, and they they were from a group from this one, and a group from this one, and a group from this one, because I got in there. They learned all the things. You can learn all the things, but if you don't break through here, it will not stay with you. You will go back to that other behavior and the behavior is because there's doubt there, there's fear and there's anxiety. You guys, I haven't even started <laughs> I haven't even started talking about what I'm talking about, but it always goes it always it always goes hand in hand. So, my biggest thing in my group coaching programs right now is to really break through that mindset. I've gotten stronger and stronger at being able to teach it to where it resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, you guys, if it doesn't sit in and if it doesn't change how you feel about it, you go back. You go back. So you have to show up to see it differently. Don't ever come to my program unless you wanna show up to see it differently. Cause you can show up, learn the things and lose the weight, but you're gonna go back into the other behaviors. If you don't show up to see things differently, to change how you feel and how you see things, okay? Yeah, I'm law of attraction. Yeah, I'm the secret. Yeah, I drink the juice. You are supposed to. It doesn't mean you don't do the things. You do the things, but you step into that energetic field that gives you 100% confidence that you are going to get to where you wanna be and you remove the doubt and you become stronger in your ways. Make sense? Okay, give me a heart if that makes sense. Preacher board on. 
So just for the record, on Tuesdays at 1.11, I get on my preacher soapbox. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care because I love you so much. I want you to see it differently. I am somebody that racked my freaking brain with what I eat, how I eat, if I'm gonna fail, if I'm gonna make it. I don't like myself in this size. I'll be better, I'll be happier when I'm this size. Holy shit, holy shit. To the, to the point where I messed up my metabolism, right? If I just love the journey, and love my body enough to eat the foods to actually heal my body so my body takes care of me, I would have been okay. But I learned the lessons for a reason, right? So that I can teach them, so I can help you. Because this is, we are not rare. Unfortunately, we are the majority, especially as women. We have been led to think about ourselves a certain way and we don't have control of when it hit us. I go through this the first few weeks of my coaching. I start talking about the imprint so we can let it out, so we can identify it. And I'm like, let's hit it hard, let's hit it quick, let's get it out and let's move forward. So we can go into that energetic space of constantly growing and going to know what you are going to do in every situation and feeling it while you're in that situation. And that right there, my friends, is the freaking breakthrough. That is the breakthrough. You can eat keto all day long. Here, you want 10 tips? Here we go, off the top of my head. Um, let's take out the nuts, let's take out the dairy, let's intermittent fast, let's eat omega-3s, let's eat salmon, let's let's pull out the dirty the dirty foods, right? The, um, the get pasteurized eggs, get, um, I'm off the top of my head right now, get, the, get grass-fed beef, get free-range chicken, get wild-caught fish, okay? So then you're clean with your meats, you lead with the meats, right? And was that four or five tips? Where am I at, you guys? Let me just throw out these tips right there so you guys can get these things and I can show you how they mean nothing if you don't get this right. What else? Remove the nuts, remove the dairy, shop for the meat, add veggies. At some point, take veggies out. It's elimination. What else? What else? Oh, um, take out the oils, the inflammation oils. Those oils keep people... Listen, look, there's Taya. Look at Taya. If she doesn't eat this way, you guys... She can't move. She cannot move. Can you put yourself in her situation for one second? And can you see why you have to eat this way so you can function in life? Because eventually it's gonna hit you and it's gonna hit you hard. It's not like this is diet food. The sad thing is this is the best real food, right? If you can see it differently, why do you think she has results? Taya, Taya has taken my keto crash course and watched every video. Boom. It is her life pretty much depending on it. And her life is her and her son functioning every day. That's what her life is. I get that. We're moms, right? And for her to get out of bed and function with that boy, she has to eat this way and feel better so she can do it. So there's your bottom line. When you get into a situation like that, you go for it. You do it, you learn it, and you grab it, and you take every information, free information that you can, and you apply it, because it is necessary to get even get out of your bed, right? So take the tips I just gave you, take it as, um, don't take your body, your health, and you getting out of bed for granted, and let the change evolve right? So let me give you the next step. Get in to an energy space. Step out of that space of the girl that's been yo-yo dieting for decades and thinks no matter what she does, she's not good enough. And this isn't going to work. Oh, I, I didn't lose this on the scale. Um, I, it's, it's just not working. It's not working for me. It's not working for me. It's not working for me. It's not. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Are you wanting to stop me? Because you're like, don't say that. Don't say that about yourself. How do you think it feels a coach? I'm like, stop, stop it, right? But I did it to myself for so many years. What you put out of that mouth will be your results. End of story. End of story. Do you need to learn? Yeah, because unfortunately, if you don't educate yourself and learn how to reset your body keto primal, 
you are going to end up grabbing the wrong things because at, at this point, what's on the shelf? What's taught to you? You can't even go to a keto group and be taught foods that are, are going to heal the inflammation in your body, right? You got to know where you're going to go to actually grow your knowledge. <laughs> I mean, you can go to me. That'd be awesome. If you don't, know where you go. Know where you go to learn. That's just like such a small part of the equation. And give yourself a break for not learning it all overnight. Learn it in steps, okay? Because it takes a lot of work and that's okay. If you think it's overcomplicated, you're complicating it. Because actually learning the very few right foods that taste amazing can be so simple and you can remove the rest out of your memory. And if you think it's too hard when you're going into a situation, that's because you're not healing the right energy. You're not stepping into that energy. Know what you want. Know you are absolutely getting it. Know what it takes to get to it. And when you step into an, a place where you feel like you're gonna fail, you better have the right words going on in here before you step into that place. So, let me give you an example. Listen, I, I bet you by the end of this right now, I've covered everything I wrote down. So let me just go with it. You step into a wedding. Let me give you an example. I went to a wedding. Moe's cookies were there. And if you guys don't know about Moe's cookies, you just don't know. Because they are flipping amazing. I would never waste my calories on crap cookies, but I would on this. But can I resist Moe's cookies? And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know wedding cakes are my weakness, right? I haven't been to a wedding in a while, so I'm good. I went to a wedding, it wasn't just a wedding cake, all right? It was the wedding cake. You could see all that buttercream on there. It was ombre, and I love, you know I love ambiance. Like, this wedding cake was so flippin' pretty, I felt like I had to eat it. But I didn't. You wanna know why? Because when I was showing up, I owned this body at the state it is in knowing where it's going. I will love this body in some way. You guys, well, you should, right? You don't know how I feel about it. I've been on this yo-yo thing just as long as you have. But what's changed is here. I am blessed to get up every morning. My mom has fibromyalgia. It's hard as hell and she's down for the count multiple times, whether she's keto or not, right? I am blessed to get out of this bed. I am blessed to get up and go to the gym. And I am going to eat foods that bless this body and take me where I want to go. If I want to be 20% body fat, that's my personal goal. But I better love myself on the way. So that has to be a reminder, that's there. It's already there, I've determined it's there. It's there. Now I take all the tools I know to get me there and I move it in to every situation. The good thing about Keto Primal, you guys, is this isn't the last 10 years, right? Where we're like, oh, we have to have oatmeal and we have to have rice and then we're like starving and then we're like, cause there's no fat in there to fill us up, right? I mean, I'm, I'm expressing gratitude to not have this feeling when I go somewhere. Because if you're fat adapted and you eat fat before you go somewhere, at least you're not feeling that crazy like frantic, I actually, it's actually a physical like deprivation feeling, right? So you're feeling content, but psychologically you gotta tap in there. So if you really understand that cake is gonna make you feel like shit and it won't get you to where you know you're going, you know where you're going, that cake hangover isn't worth it. See yourself exactly where you want to see yourself. You are learning from me. I am giving you the tools to go there. And sky is the mother effing limit. I kid you not. If you are over 200 pounds and you want to be 160 pounds, I can get you there. And I'm saying that with confidence. But you have to know you're going. You have to understand the old you that you keep getting scared is coming back up with all that doubt. We are going to remove that doubt. We, not me, we. Cause you gotta show up to understand that what you've been doing has not been working. 
what you've been doing by I'm doing good, I'm doing it, and then you get there. Well, because you didn't love yourself the whole way, when you get to a certain level, you're still not over there loving yourself. And then you start sabotaging, right? It is a mental game, and when you own it, oh, wait, is she? I love that, Taya, thank you for writing that out. I love that, she is 199. Do you see how determined she is, you guys? Do you see? She has no choice but to remove these limited beliefs. She's gotta get up out of bed. Who else is gonna do it for her? Put yourself there, right? The limited beliefs that you can't handle a situation out of your own home is only that. It's an old belief, move it out and put energy into where you're going. Remove it and get into this vibrational high energy place of this is happening and this is freaking awesome. This is awesome. Oh, I gotta eat this food and it makes me feel good anyway and, and why would I want that? I feel like shit and that's gonna put my energy down. I'm gonna go back into this whole freaking vicious cycle. So if you're going to a wedding and you gotta avoid these foods, right? Cake, biggest weakness. Before I went to that wedding, I was like, hey, I usually like being a little bit smaller than this size, but I love that I can wear this dress right now. And I love that I feel good, and I love that I can go on my own, I love that I'm an independent mom, I love that I can go dance on the dance floor with an 80-year-old badass, because she is, her name is Joni, she's an 80-year-old badass, and literally I wanted to put her in my pocket and take her home because I love her energy, right? Because she gets it. She gets it, and I'm like, I'm gonna get it with you. I'm just gonna stay into that place. Cause she's happy. She plants at home. She lost her husband this year. She is like, yeah, you do that. She wears a sassy red lipstick. Step into that energy field and stay there. Learn how to get in there and stay there. A lot of times my clients just wanna be in my energy. I come with the same struggles. I come with the same temptations, you guys. I was a girl that yo-yo dieted, that messed up my metabolism, that felt like I had to be like this to keep somebody, that I feel like I have to play, have this image because people look at me as a coach. Screw that. I'm this way because I'm gonna love myself and I'm gonna love myself so much that I'm gonna make you love yourself and we're gonna get in this energy together and we're gonna link up and we are gonna remove what does not serve us. Layer by layer. <laughs> Because right when you remove something, something else pops up. Well, hello, life. Awesome. Because you're becoming a pro at it. So it's coming in. You're recognizing it rather than sponging it in. So that you can stay in this high energetic field. Now, when you're in that energy place and you're like, like I think Joanna's up there, right? I'm going to just say Joanna wants to be a size 7. Well, she's getting there. She's on her way. I love Joanna because I follow her posts and they're freaking hilarious and she owns who she is. She owns who she is. And she's going and going. She notices when she gets distracted and then she steps back into alignment. She is learning. And I can tell you right now, if Joanna wants to be a size seven, she's on her way. Because she's stepping into a good energy space. She's so freaking determined. And I feel like we're the same where we have friends where we like used to party and, and she's like, eh, I'm gonna just do this. You out partying, I'm gonna be here on my grind or I'm gonna be here bettering myself. And I'm okay to miss that. Because my energy is so reserved and so excited for what is coming, I can't be pulled away. So you see yourself as size seven and you never imagined you can get there. But all of a sudden you're like, holy shit, I can get here. I just gotta stay in this space. I'm doing the things, I've learned the things. I know how to prep my food. I know how to shop now. I know what staples to pull in. I know how to make the simplest things taste amazing. I know, I'm getting it. I figured that part out. I set my environment. I'm setting boundaries for people around me that are pressuring me. I realize that they don't have my best interests. They have theirs. So I'm like, oh, no, 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 right? Christina, my one-on-one, -on -one, 70 freaking pounds down. She hasn't been my one-on-one -on -one client since, gosh, five months at least, right? 70 pounds down. Today she was here getting um, the shipments ready to get, get out because she's my assistant. So somebody asked, she told me somebody asked her, well, what do you, how did you get that? What did you, and she goes, I listen. I listen to everything she says. I don't, I don't resist because I know what it leads to. And I'm like, 
you know, I love hearing this from other people. She was just having general conversation with me. And I looked at her and I said, but you know why you're 70 pounds down? You know why you keep going? You know why you have nailed this? Because I've taught you all these things? Yes. However, she never hated herself. She was like, she just got lost because she's such a heartfelt human being. She got lost in taking care of everybody else to where she didn't know how to navigate to take care of herself and, and pick the right foods and cook the right things, right? She figured out all the tools and she was like, oh yeah. I remember it was like probably last April or March, right? She was down, she was down a lot. She was down like 35, 40 pounds. And she's like, yeah, she was just having these epiphanies. Like, I, I just, I'm just so shocked and, and it's really not that hard. It's, it's really good food and like she just was just saying the things, right? And she said, oh, thank you, Taya. And she says, um, what did she say? Sorry, I totally just, I shouldn't have read that. I just got distracted. She said, I said, yeah, so where do you want to be? Because it's never to me, like when I said size seven, I don't know where your goal is. I don't know where, I just, I just throw out randomness, right? And then I looked at her and I said, and she doesn't care because she shares her pictures. So I'm going to share what size was she. She didn't know what size she was. She, was. she wasn't even putting on jeans at this point. And by the way, she's donating a package to Taya of brand new clothes she bought for me that not stay on her now. So we're putting that package together for you, Taya. Um, and we're very proud of you. She, she said, I said, where do you want to go? She's like, I don't know. Because she wasn't obsessed with the outcome. She was obsessed with the process. She was in love with the process and believing herself. And it just put this energy in her and there was no doubt behind it, right? And when she struggled, we broke through like people, environment, stuff like that. And she, I said, oh, I kind of see you like as a size 10, honestly. And she looked at me like, what? Oh, really? You do? I'm like, yeah, I do. But I don't know where you're gonna go. You just keep going, you can decide because you've nailed the process. Your life has changed now. You've transformed and you don't go back. You're not going back. You're so excited and you love the food. Your family eats the food. You just leave out the rice and still give them the rice. Like she's applied everything. She goes, yeah. And then she texts me and we separated. And I could just tell she was like, and then we left. And I know, cause I know she's in that energetic space of transformation. I know when you guys hit that space of forever, right? And I know when we have to work harder to remove to remove the doubt, to remove the negative thoughts and step into the positive energy that produces results. You can do all the things. I can teach you all the things. And you guys will get like, oh, results, results. But if you keep doubting yourself, you find yourself in a binge, an emotional eating, a shitty weekend, right? But when you're in the energy space to realize this energy will take me all the way and I can knock down the barriers like boom, 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 boom. Because you are in that space, you get where you wanna go. She came here today, 70 pounds down. She texts me later that day. You really see me in size 10? I'm like, I see you where you wanna go. That's just my vision. I can see that loud and clear. I know, I know what's happening with you right? It's not because I need you there. I want you to be where you want to be. We have no idea what size 10 looks like, but I see a vision, right? I'm a coach. I can see. Um, it's not about me. It's about you. Plus size is beautiful. I know people that own plus size and as long as their heart's healthy and they can move and, and they're like own that shit. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. My niece is one of the prettiest girls ever. She's, she's like a size maybe 14 and I, she's my model. She is gorgeous. I don't know if I want her. I want her to be healthy. She's my niece. I want her, I want her numbers to change right now. But I want her to own who she is. And she is freaking drop dead gorgeous. And she rocks any outfit like no other with confidence. If you guys are in my BFF group, you've seen her. You've seen her. She's just like, you're like, can I get up on that confidence that that girl has? Like, <laughs> it's about you. And it's about your energy right? She gets all the attention in the world. She's gorgeous and she owns her space. Like I love it as long as she's healthy because that's my biggest thing. She's my niece and I want you guys to be healthy. So Christina came today and she's like, yeah, she's telling me how she was answering, you know, someone that was asking her questions. And I said, do you want to really understand 
why you're at 70 pounds, Christina? She's like, why? I'm like, because you never doubted yourself. You never hated yourself. She, even when she showed up with that weight, you guys, she has so much love in her family. They loved her that way. She just got to a point where she was uncomfortable and saw a video of me through a friend's page and was like, I like that girl. I, I think I need this. I deserve this now. And she just went in. And she didn't hesitate when we connected, right? So the whole process though, sometimes I get clients and they're so used to beating themselves up. We have to work on that inside work. Christina wasn't imprinted as much. I actually think she was imprinted as a child, but she had so much supportive love in her family that she wasn't, she didn't hate on herself. She got in a loving environment with her kids and her husband. I gotta say, it's one of the best family support systems I've seen since coaching. And that's okay, not everybody's different. You start to, when you love yourself and realize what toxic behaviors start to come in and affect that energy, it becomes loud and clear when you start removing layers. And then you don't gotta make changes overnight, right? Changes happen slowly. There's a vibration that you are in constantly. And when you go after something you want, for it to fully come to the surface, because the best things in life, you guys, are doing this. They are circling. And while you're in there, you gotta be in it. You gotta be in it and know, okay, so I give you this list. And I help you set up your environment. I help you navigate the foods. I help you create the meals. I help you figure out how to meal prep. I give you the best things that are gonna work just because I've done it to my, for myself. So I know that's why it works because I'm a practical person. I need simplicity. I have to do it before I go, this will work. And that's why people are like, oh my God, that was such a good idea. It's because I do it. It works for me, right? How to navigate in a restaurant, it works for me. All right, that's the circle. That's the high energy. I'm doing this. I'm, I got this. I'm on this. You can't go here and hold on to that, that like hateful feeling about yourself and then go into an event and go, I'm not going to make this. I'm not going to make this. Hi, Vicki. This, I'm going to fail here. I'm going to fail here. Because guess what happens? This, which is leading to your outcome, this whole thing, you, this momentum just goes, boop, start over. You... From this moment forward, if that is you, show up right now to love yourself during this process. You have to love yourself during this process. That momentum you're creating to get where you wanna go, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 70 pounds, 80 pounds, this whole thing right here and learning how to stay in that energy and trust that energy and trust that process and let go of fear, let, no, let go of negativity, let go of doubts. In here, it's just going to be like, woo, yeah, we're getting here. And the signs of success will happen all along the way to confirm you're going where you need to go. What is the biggest challenge that throws you off from that energetic space though? It's certain events that bring back the old you that you don't know if you can get through. So you have to do an exercise before you get there. Like it's the best part about keto primal is intermittent fasting, right? We can intermittent fast. So we're not thinking about food as much and we can plan for those meals. But what can I tell you? If you don't Get that right mind before that meal, you might end up in a disaster and it might do this every single day. Some days you're good, some days oh shit, you blew it, right? What if I could tell you stop to get in that space, sorry my battery thing, stop and get in that space before you go to that dinner with a friend, before you go to that party and envision your big goal. Know that you are doing the process and all the things you've learned. Say, declare yourself in that space and watch yourself fly through that place where you normally have doubt. When you can envision and see yourself a certain way, a certain outfit, and it sounds cheesy, right? I can tell you guys right now, when I'm lean, I like to just see myself in black jeans, straight, lean, toned, um, boots, like not this like goddess in a dress. <laughs> Right? Like, that's just not how I see it. I see me strong. 
I see me lean. I see me nice and black jeans. Like it's just a vision. I can't explain what it is. It's my vision. I know when I feel my best. I'm never that far off from it, but I'm always shooting for it because I feel good in it. And I envision it every single day. And when I envision it every single day and align my food with it and what I'm gonna do to get there without restriction and struggle, it shows up. And the one thing that removes it is doubt, fear, and anxiety. And a lot of times I let outside circumstances overwhelm me, create stress, mess up my adrenals, um, have doubt when I'm doing foot, like my meals and I get a little bit off. I think I just posted a before and after where you guys were seeing July. I was overwhelmed. My business grew so freaking fast. I was buried and I was in this fearful space because I think in my head I have to work 24 hours a day to be accomplished. And it's something I'm going through to realize, no, I don't. I've worked 30 freaking years to be able to coach this. In one hour, I can give you guys so much because 30 years is coming out of that mouth. So I don't have to work 24 hours a day because I've spent 30 years getting here, right? Does that make sense? So that doubt, that stress, that overwhelm is removed and my energy is back. I'm eliminating what is not serving me, what is overwhelming me, people's energies that are trying to suck me dry. If I can lock myself into a time where I can come in here and give you guys some major tools, that is more important than showing up 24 hours a day. Right? Because I can only coach you. You need to receive it and you need to apply it. Or stay in the same cycle of being unhappy. Like, really. That's the bottom line. So some people, I had somebody like go in a group client. I mean, <laughs> somebody go in a group client. That makes sense. Um, this isn't working for me. And they're just trying to back out of a payment. And that's okay. I'm like, this is going to repeat itself over and over and over. Because you're not showing up. That's what it is. I don't even need to justify it. I'm like, when you decide to show up because you're miserable, because what I teach is much more than a system of food. I'm teaching you to get out of your own head. And when you get out of your own head and I say it, you got to do it every single freaking day. Every single day. Because these thoughts where we beat ourselves up and go in this low vibration, this low energy negative space, if it's been your space for a very long time, you need to practice every day to get your head out. And let me tell you, when you get your head out and you stay in this high energy place every day, knowing 100% with certainty that this is happening for you, it will happen. End of story. Remove the fear, find out the right things to do, and lean into every situation with confidence in what you are trying to achieve does happen. The only person getting in your way is yourself because you are in charge of other energies coming in your way too. You are in charge of your happiness. And if you think somebody else has done something to put you here, you better own that you let them get there. Even if it's a parent, right? Oh, I was born and then I didn't have a choice. You have a choice. You're human now. Unless you're five, don't tell me that. Make sense? Life is always working for you if you stay in that high energy place. And when something's not working for you, you better sit down and figure out why and change it. Own your shit, right? I mean, trust me. I know. <laughs> like, I'm not preaching. Like, I know. I gotta own my shit all the time because when I clear, when I grow in one area, the other area that's unvisited comes up so I can clear it, which is good. Instead of being like, when is it in? I'm like, oh. Oh yeah, I gotta take care of that now because that's that problem is kind of going rolling over in this situation and I gotta it's the same pattern and oh I see it like I could see it clear, right? So here's what I'm gonna do for you guys because it's like ah oh. so for one picture where you want to go and you take massive action but you take inspired action. You have to know in your heart that this is where you can be, and then you take the the tools. That is why my coaching is a little more expensive, you guys. I give you life tools that carry with you everywhere. 
And I can't charge $3.99 to be, reset your body with keto because guess what? You're going to have to reset again and reset again and reset again. Because if I'm not getting to what was stopping you, there, there's, no point of, there's no point in me coaching. Honestly, I can't do it that way. I do it with my heart and I teach you to love yourself and break down the walls and the limited beliefs and get into an energetic space and then protect that space and own that space and remind yourself of that space every day and 100% know you are going exactly where you want to go. Now take the damn tools and execute anywhere you want to go with your body, with your relationship, with who you're gonna be in a relationship with, with leaving a relationship, with being a single mom, drop all the fear. There are tools for everything you want in life, career, passion. If you find yourself talking about it all the time and it's not your job, figure out how to turn it into your job because your passion should make you an income. But we have been taught that no, if it's not hard, it's not going to come to you. Well, when you follow your passion, it'll be hard too. Because you've got to grind it out, but you might as well grind it out with your passion. Oh my gosh, I love that, honey. We have to have a donation group. Okay, so know you can do it. Set your goal. And you, now you're going to take action, which I think all you guys are. But now I want it to be, yeah, I'm a massive action taker. Inspired action. Get inspired, because I just let you know you can do this. Anything, you can do it. Now figure out the action you're gonna take. I mean, if it's the group coaching, that'd be awesome. But anything in life, you guys, anything. Inspired action. Somebody has done it, achieved it, mastered it. Take the action and learn. Don't throw spaghetti on the freaking wall and see if it sticks, right? Like don't. Lean in to what is speaking to you. Make sense? Okay. Um, I love when I go to my notes because I'm like, oh yeah, yep, set that, uh-huh. Let's breather. breathe her. This is your break. <laughs> this is your break from preacher mode. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So, if you're leaning into any program, you guys, and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna get there. Oh, she went there. She's already lost. If you looked at one before and after that I've posted and put yourself down because of their before and after, that's why you're not getting there. You'd be inspired by people that have gotten there. You don't compare yourself ever. You just improve yourself, okay? Comparing yourself will knock you, knock you down. The reason my business is blown up is because I never look at other coaches. I know what changes my heart. I know how to tap into my people. I know what people need. And if this doesn't speak to you, then don't then go. I am not going to hesitate to put my positive energy into my coaching because if I did not do it, you guys wouldn't have the breakthroughs you're having. And if you're resistant or hesitant, think about it. Where is that getting you? You won't get where you want to go if you're like, oh, she did this and oh, that. and uh, Catch yourself. We've all done it. <laughs> We've all done it. We've all done it. If you're like, this person did that, who cares what anyone else did? Get that negative tone out. Focus on you and keep it positive. And think about where you're at and who you're around and start building a shield. You don't got to fight it. You don't got to preach it. You got to own your part. Make sense? Hi, Shauna. Thank you, Vicki. Okay, so I am going to post a challenge later. You guys put me down there if you want to be in it. It's going to be a three or five day challenge. Um, and it's gonna have PDF and you guys will take pictures and then you will do a hashtag and I'll post the details Okay, I want you to do this for five days and if you are hesitant do it Do it Stay in the vortex <laughs> You guys ever watch Abraham Hicks? Abraham Hicks is rad. You stay in You don't go hmm. I'm manifesting this buddy, but you can picture that 
you can see it, you could put in your energy into creating it, and it happens. In the middle, you have action. But when you need confirmation, you look for the little pieces of confirmation. You look for the little miracles. If you believe and you pray for it and you surrender and you take action to achieve it, detach yourself from the outcome and know it's happening. And do you know how much stress you take off your body when you do this? Because a stressed body is an overweight body. My body was so stressed in July and you could see it. Same principles I was coaching. It's just there was stress eating in there and doubt and fear because all the stuff I teach with body and food was coming into an overworked schedule, right? So then you got to figure that out and just start releasing. And the more I release, the more I achieve, the more I receive. It's crazy. I had it all backwards my whole life. It's insane, right? Sorry, you guys, I don't mean to like skip your comments. Those are my girls. I love my girls. Okay, so on the exercise that we're gonna do, the challenge, and I'll have the, the prize too. This ring light always makes me super hot. Um, it's a sheet, and a lot of times as I'm building my meditation, uh, like I have a meditation module, people are like, I can't meditate, I can't meditate. Bullshit. Do you know that these freaking ADHD, ADHD brain never stopped. I have been an entrepreneur since I came out of the womb. I've been talking about this and that and this business. This brain never stops. And now it never stops. I love what I do and I love learning. So I have to meditate so it could stop. So I can receive more. So I can get more balanced, right? So I'm doing a little meditation 101 video um, for my group coaching. But a lot of times when I first started meditating, you guys, I needed guidance. That's how you start. You set up an altar, you set up a space, you sit in silence, you, you remove yourself from the things, you play a little Spotify list, you light a candle, and you get in this space where you're like, it's like your hectic, hectic day, bah, and then you sit in the space and you're like, oh, oh, it's kind of, yeah, it's just right, it feels good, okay, uh, well now what do I do? Okay, but this does feel relaxing. Okay, that music, oh, that candle, a little lavender. Oh, I like that. I feel like I'm in a spa. I feel, oh, I like this. I'm like in a, a spiritual habit. Okay, I'm down with this. Like, it just evolves. Like, kid you not. You're not gonna, people are like, you do this, ohm. I'm like, well, sometimes I flip my hands up in there and hold a crystal. But I didn't start out doing that. I started by shutting down. Then I started by just learning. And I had journals and I had worksheets, right? So this is going to be a worksheet for you and I'll give you instructions to do it in the beginning of the day and take it with you before you eat. You wanna see if you're going on this yo-yo training, you wanna see how much this energy and mindset thing works? I wanna give you a tool to apply it to where you're being forced to, to jolt into that energy space, right? We might not, it might not be jolt, okay, sorry. But if you have this worksheet and you're like, all right, well, she's giving this away. So let me just get in this contest, see if I can get in this thing. You're going to see your energy change throughout the day. You're going to see things unfold. You're going to see things work for you and you're going to see your clarity about what you could do and the doubt disappear. I want you to just, this is just one of the tools I give people to break out, right? Positive affirmations, reminding yourself of them all the time. It's just one of the tools but you're gonna see a shift. Just a small example of the shift that can happen. So that'll probably be up to today or tomorrow, right? And then you'll start doing it from there and I'll have the details on there and, and when the challenge starts, when it ends. Um, the group coaching, you guys, is gonna be amazing. Every time I add more mindset training, you learn all the things. So sorry if I jump over that, but you've been following me for a while. I, I reset your body, I crush your appetite, appetite, I turn you into a biohacker, I, I turn you into a fat burner. You eat healing foods, you build amazing recipes out of it, we have tools for restaurants, we have, all those things come into play. That's like second freaking nature to me. But it's not permanent unless you get this, unless you see things differently. And how you see things differently will start spiraling in everything in your life.
what you want to accomplish, relationships, toxic relationships, setting boundaries, removing negativity, staying in a positive state. And when you resist it, you go into that same negative space. You want to resist it, you're going to go back to the negative space, period, end of story. Don't show up for it then. Show up to change it so that you can remove it. And when you showed up and you felt it and you were in the zone and then you backlash, you're a human. You got to dive into it more. Right? Make sense? Um, so that will be uploaded and posted for you guys. And the group coaching starts Monday. You guys, get in it. It's amazing. It's the last one of the year. If you, here's where I'm going to tell you what happens to me when I make a decision like this. If you are sick and tired of being in a negative space, if you are sick and tired of doubt and not believing in yourself, you're sick and tired of obsession with the scale, if you are thinking about food all day long and if you're gonna make it or not make it, if you binge eat on the weekends, if you get completely thrown off and then you beat yourself up on Monday and then you weigh yourself on Monday, which by golly, I have no idea why anyone would lose it on the weekend and then potentially weigh it themselves. Holy shit, that's like one of the worst. Like, if you do that, you should probably sign up. The madness has to end. Learn all the things and then remove all of that negative space in your head. And fill it up with a high vibe, high energy place that's taking you to the next level in your life. If you want to get there and you want to see yourself as a certain size, if you're a size 16 and you see yourself as a size 10, you have no idea when you go through this cycle over and over how you would get there. And you go, 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 and then you mess it up. You need to take someone's hand because you need a massive breakthrough and I want you to not suffer. You are allowed to put yourself first enough to invest in yourself so that the rest of your life can unfold. It's a game changer. So that starts Monday. There are payment options. Um, you'll have the whole weekend and I'm gonna do the exercise, the challenge. I will post the, the details a little bit later and have my sister help me with it. Sound good, you guys? So I hope this helped you. The, the whole point of this video today is if you don't know how to get into that energetic field to get where you want and stay there, it needs, you need to know that you have to be in this energetic field and you have to figure out how to change your thoughts where you can stay in this energetic space. And then you will be able to apply it in everything you do. But if you're like me and your body and your weight has consumed you for way too long, you, you know what it is. High, 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 low, low, low. High, 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 low, low, low. You got to stay in the high place even when things come at you because that is freaking life. And when you stay in that high space, you actually see the signs come in that you are getting there. And I don't want to lose you in that moment. But when it comes to money, when it comes to miracles, when you stay in that belief space and ask for what you want, it will show up if you are in that right place. The universe gave you this life and wants to reward you and give you everything you deserve if you lean into it and stay in it. Even when people and things come at you, you're like, nope, stay in this way. Learn on your own. Like, <laughs> make sense? I'm going to give you a small little miraculous miracle story right now. You guys have heard me talk about my parents. You've heard me be vulnerable and I only have done that to this group. Talk about my story, how I work so hard so I know that I'm gonna be the person that takes care of my parents. I wanna take care of my parents. They're the most loving parents. They've done everything for me and if you're new to me, this is my mom and my stepdad. My stepdad helped raise us. My real dad has passed and I love them all. So my parents lost everything a few years ago and miraculously in California, we found a, a condo for them for 600 a month. And me and my sisters know that we can help them there. But it's, it's in like San Bernardino, it's not in the best area. So I know I need to get by them. I know I need to help support them, but I, need, I know I need to get by them because they're my parents and they're everything to me. And I wanna see them more, right? But I also moved to Orange County to raise my son in this beautiful little city called Brea. 
as a single mom, I wanted to feel like I don't need anyone, but I want to feel safe and I want my son to have a great education and be in sports and have the same friends and all that stuff, right? So I moved to a way more expensive place and I bust my ass as a single mom, I always have, to provide for my son, which leaves my parents and my sisters really far away from me. So the last few years, I'm like, you know, I know whatever is coming with my growth, like I know what the big picture is, is I'm gonna take care of my parents. If I move that way, my sister does, I'll probably be like Redlands because it's a little community just like Brea. And I see it more and more because I'm like, well, I can picture myself in one of these beautiful old houses. I like the little downtown area. I like being alone a lot, so it's fine. And my son's like, I'm moving that way. My son, your, Chiana's house, my sister is way bigger than ours. My son's all frugal now, all right? I'm like, son, I moved you here to raise you, you little turd. So, my mom messages me last night, you guys. Mind you, in California, you, if you're from California, you know. If you're not from California, you've heard. Orange County, California, in an area like this, is so expensive. So, long picture, sure, I'll take care of my parents. Short picture, life is short. I want to be by them in the next few years. What am I going to do? Well, I'll let it come to me stay in this high energetic place, show up to heal people, show up my passion. It'll all unfold to my big picture. Always taking care of my son, always taking care of my parents. My mom calls me last night. They've pretty much lost everything and living off their retirement money, okay? Which is not a lot. Um, and she calls me last night, and, but they found themselves again in this loss. I, that's a whole nother life. And she's like, I have to call somebody. I don't know who to tell, but I don't want to ruin it because they still have these doubt, negative feelings, but they're, they're fighting their way out of it, which is beautiful because it was really hard to see them in such a negative space. So my mom's like, I think we're moving to Whittier. Now, if you know Whittier, it's 10 minutes away from Brea. 10 minutes away from Brea. And I always see my, I love old historic houses. This is, house was built in 19... 1898, okay, this house was super old. I love this house. Um, my mom's a historian, so I was raised in houses like that, and my stepdad did construction. They worked on it, so I was just raised to appreciate old houses. I just love them. So I always saw them in Laverne or Upland because it's a little more affordable or Claremont. Well, Uptown Whittier has a beautiful, beautiful, like, old houses. It's an old house. It's a really old house, 100 years old, and the rent's going to be the same as their little condo in San Bernardino because it's my stepdad grew up in Whittier and it's his best friend's dad, which is like his dad. Miracles. If you understand that I came from no money and every single ounce of money that I ever had came from a stepdad who worked his ass off to provide for us. His ass off to the point where he is in chronic pain, had 15 back surgeries, there's no cartilage. In. This Italian stubborn workaholic man, you can't even stop him. One day I'll get him on video so you guys understand, right? Like to have that show up in a place where no matter what me and my sisters can afford to take care of it, miracle. If you come from a place where there are a lot of people around you don't have things to give like that, you understand the miracle in that, the blessing in that, right? I have to be by my parents. I did not doubt that energetic space of I know this is working itself out so I can go buy a bigger place in Redlands if I need to be by them. I don't care where I'm at as long as my son is along with me because my son's all about family too. He's all about my parents. He's a very smart kid. He, lo he leads with his heart and loves his family more than anything. That all works out. Chiana's in Yukaipa. My other sister moved to Seattle. That's the only one that's going to cost me more to go see, right? Like, that's how I was seeing it. Because I'm like, I, I can't recruit anyone to Orange County. We're from the Inland Empire. You can't recruit to Orange County. <laughs> like, you have to make good money. Like, really. So, this is an opportunity and a miracle and a blessing. I never doubted that as long as I put my heart into working hard and showing up to heal people, that this is going to work itself out. But do you want to know what the universe told me? Lift it, and I've been told by a lot of other people, lift that off your shoulders. My parents don't put that on me. That's just who I am as a person, right? So lift it off your shoulders. It's not supposed to be yours, but I keep it on my shoulders because I, I, I just do. I want, I want to take care of my parents. I want them by them. I want to see them or whatever. 
Do you see how I stayed in this space and the universe lifted it off my shoulders for me? The pressure of making a certain amount of money by a certain time so I get to my parents because you know life is short and all that, all that has been lifted because I know it was confirmation that I'm not in control. Show up with your heart, show up and believe, show up without doubt and stress and watch it unfold. In anything you do in life, yeah, that was a big miracle, you guys, it really was. But I stayed in this space. I stayed in a space knowing, well, it's gonna, something's gonna happen where I just can handle this financially. So we all get close together, right? And then it was lifted from me and we're gonna end up close together. So don't doubt. Don't not believe and watch the little things that unfold. I could tell you like five things that have happened this week. They will happen. They're signs that you're on the right path when you remove the negative energy. Have the tools. Don't just sit there. Have the tools. Take inspired action knowing with 100% certainty you are receiving what you want. And this world is abundant. So if you want this body, this, this, if it's, with, if it's within you and it serves you and you just want to feel good in it, then you can have it. It's not selfish, right? If you want it just to get a guy back, you might not get it. Make sure you want it for you. Make sure you want to feel good and then it's endless. And then you take the tools and learn how to get there. Buy a coach. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I love when I do little shameless plugs there. Anyways, all hot, sweaty. It's like a workout doing these Tuesday ones, you guys. It really is. But I hope that it impacts you. If it doesn't, then just don't watch it. Because I know the people that it impacts, their life is changing. And they're seeing it different. When you do this challenge for five days, and you own the challenge and you do it, watch. Watch what happens. And if you do this right, if you're doing this right now watching me, because we've all done that, right? You're human. It's a uh, freaking drinking that juice. And blah, blah, blah. Stop doing that. <laughs> Stop doing that. You're just, I'm doing this for you. This is about you. I'm already in this space. I'm in this space and people are coming with me whether you want or not. So the person that's like, <laughs> you know, the cramped face. We do it. I did the crap. There's so many pictures of me having a crap in my face. People are like, look at your face there. I'm like, sorry. I didn't know. Stop the resistance and lean into what you want. Don't sit here and learn all these foods and how to cook and how to prep and how to be keto and how to heal your body. I'm really good at that. Yes. Don't sit here and obsess with that stuff. If you are not going to believe and change those freaking thoughts, because you are wasting your time. Wasting your time. And if you need to change and you want to lock arms and you really want to grow and go to the next level, you sign up for a program. I don't care if it's mine or somebody else's. Commit. Commit. The universe is freaking abundant. It is. Remove your limited beliefs that you're not allowed to put yourself first. Stop shopping for more jeans and have the one pair of gold jeans and take inspired action until you rock the hell out of those new jeans and put the new je those old jeans and put those new jeans that you were going to put the money into into a program that's going to help you. You see how detailed I was right now? Because I do it. I do it. I'm always with a coach on the next level, growing and growing so that my limited beliefs are completely gone and I sacrifice shopping. I, you guys see me, I bust out at Ross, I bust out at the grocery outlet. That is who I am because I am putting my money into growth because I want to show up to grow, to help, to heal, and then help heal others. And clearly, there ain't no stopping me. So anyways, I love you guys. I'll go on for another hour, but I'm not going to. The challenge, I have to work on that, and I have to do the email opt-in, and uh, I'm just proud of myself for doing that stuff, because, but I'm doing it. I'm really good at it. <laughs> I suck at it. So I'm going to tell you, I'm really good at it, because now that I'm saying I'm good at it, I'm learning it, and it's happening. I can't wait for the challenge, so I hope you guys are going to do it, because it's amazing, and I love you, and I hope this was inspiring, and I will give you more tips on Thursday, so if you want to know all the things keto, don't worry, I'll be back on Thursday. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Bye.